we bring our brother Benjamin to his final resting place. We come here with peace and love and harmony, but most of all, we come with strength and support for Jane as she goes through this very difficult time. For it is these actions that help us get through our daily lives and our true testimony of God's power. I want to call upon Jane to share some thoughts. Happiness. Um, it's not really the kind of thing you can seek out. It finds you. You know, I can honestly say you all missed out on a very special, special man. I really only wish you guys could have gotten to know him for who he truly was. He told me to never give up on something you think is worth fighting for. And from now on, I will live my life by that creed. I know I only lived here with him for a short period of time, but I feel like I've known him my entire life. He has taught me that in life, there's always a lesson to be learned. You just have to want to find it. So what can we take from this loss? I'll tell you. Never take someone for granted. Time is sacred and special, and you never know when a moment will be its last. So love all of them to the fullest. My uncle told me that I was the daughter he could never have. And I'm here to tell you that he was the parent I never had. He'll be dearly missed. Now let us say our final prayer before we submit Benjamin to God's earth. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. It's the least I can do. What made you change your mind about him? I'm still trying to figure it all out. But finally, sitting with you and him at dinner, it was an eye-opening experience. And the other night, having tea with him, before I, well, the way he talked about you and the love he had for you. It's just like the love I have for my son and my late husband. And I knew then and there that he's just like me. He's a real human being. My values are changing, and I want you to know I'm honored that you're dating my son. <laughs>